Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Look at this adorable card I made with, again, the Gingham Gala. I can't get off of this paper, guys. I love this paper. Um, but the Gingham Gala and, of course, our Butterfly Gala is come back into stock with the, the stamp sets has never gone away, but the punch has come back into stock. Um, and I called Stampin' Up! the other day to ask them, why do bundles retire, but then we keep the stamp set? So their answer was, they make their own stamp sets there in Utah. But the um, punches and framelits come from overseas. So that's why that then that happens that way. That the bundle will retire, but we will still have the stamp set. So now that that punch is back in, I've really enjoyed uh, playing with the Butterfly Gala. Now, if you order from me on, at my online store, and there's a link below, you just have to click it. It takes you right to my website, and you click the big blue button on the right-hand side to place an order. These are the two free card kits that you get when you place an order. Envelopes are included. There's no stamped images. I don't want you guys to get intimidated by this card this month. This is a um, Dutch door card. I do all the cutting for you. You will just have to put it together by the video that's below. So simple. I cut the little paper clip for you. I punch the flower out. You get the rhinestone. You get everything cut, just no stamped images. I just happen to use the hedgehog. You could use whatever you'd like. And then you put this together. The base of the card will be cut for you. I will always do that for you and make it simple. I just didn't want you to get intimidated by this card. It is so simple to put together. Like I say, I do all of the prepping for you. So when you place an order, this is one of the cards for this month. And then this is our other card. And it opens like this. I use the Bloom by Bloom stamp set on that. And um, just you get all the elements. You can use any stamp set that you want. Okay, so that is if you place a $25 order, or um, if you just place an order. Doesn't have to be a, a dollar amount. That's just if you place an order. Now, I have my second special, so I have two specials. That's the free card kit if you place an order. If you don't want to place an order with Stampin' Up! and go through shipping and taxes and all of that, I have my Happy Crafting Card Kit class here. This is a set of four different cards. These are the designs for this month with envelopes, a set of four different designs. You get two of each. So you'll get two of these. Again, I do all the embossing, no stamping. This is designed so that you could stamp whatever you'd like. And if I use color card stock, guys, I always send you a Whisper White insert. So again, you will get two of each kit. I do all the embossing for you and all the cutting for you. And you receive all of the rhinestones and everything to put it together. The only thing that I can't do is any of the stamping. So these kits are designed to where you can use any real stamp that you'd like um, on them. So that's fun. Now this scissor right here is not a stamp. That's a cutout. So you're going to get that. And then you could put a hello up here. If you have this stamp set, that's a great way to use it. Um, you could put a little thanks up there. You know, you anything that you want or nothing. You could just leave the scissor on the little apron or even tuck it into the little apron. That's adorable also. So again, this is my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. The only thing you do is email me at joannemaddie at outlook.com. I send you a PayPal invoice for $25. That includes shipping, everything. Okay, it, it includes everything. It is one little fee. I try to make things as simple as possible. So, um, and then you get an exclusive video to put these cards together to your email. So this is where, like, if you don't want to place an order with Stampin' Up! but you love card kits and you love to put things together, these are the most fantastic little um, kits to, you know, to get in the mail. So I think that they're just springy this, this month, and I had a great response last month and having a great response this month to it. So if you would like that, just email me, and I will help you out with that also. I take a money order, and I will take a personal check. It just has to clear the bank, 
and then I'll send you your kit, no problem. But again, that's a card kit class, so it's exclusive to you. you the video is not shown on um, YouTube or my Facebook page. That just goes to the people that order that kit. So now let's talk about this card. How did I get inspired for this little corner right here? My upline sent me a beautiful card, and here it is. And she did some embossing here. And I love the way that she folded this corner up and then used uh, the butterfly paper and then put a butterfly on top right here to give it a little dimension. I absolutely love that. So I asked her if I could case the card, and she said, sure. Um, and casing is um, copy and share everything. That's when you case a card. So like if you guys wanted to make this exactly the same as I did, that's casing. Um, and so I asked her if I could do it. And hey, guys, if you want to case one of my cards, I, I love that. I so appreciate that. And I know we're on YouTube. You don't even have to ask me. Just do it. It is such a compliment to me if you guys copy one of my creations. I just, it warms my heart, honest to goodness. So um, this is the card that we are going to make in just a minute. And I did it with the Gingham Gala, like I said. And this is Daffodil Delight. So let me just show you what this well, the only thing you need for this is a Daffodil Delight base or any color that's in the Gingham Gala. Let's look at that. This is the Gingham Gala 6x6 Designer Series paper. I love this. It comes in its own little package. And what I do is put all of my scraps in the front. As I use go through the paper stack, I use this as almost like an envelope for scraps, so I love that. Um, now, so we used a Daffodil Delight piece of cardstock at 11 by 4 and a quarter, score to 5 and a half. It will open like this. Uh, and then I have my inside piece of regular Whisper White at 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. And then my Gingham Gala piece, which will go on the outside of the card, that's at 5 and a quarter by 4. All right, let me just set up for, to do some embossing, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. All right, now we're all set up to do a little embossing, and I have to admit to you guys, I shy away from embossing a lot because I don't think I do it well. Um, but that card inspired me to go ahead and try it. I love black with the Daffodil Delight. So I put my um, card base here and then my first layer on top. And I just take my corner right here and I'm just going to fold it up to where I want it. doesn't matter. And I press it just like that. So now we know that we've got enough space here for a sentiment. I'm going to use my bone folder to stick this down. Just like that, to make it flat, all right? And then I am going to use some snail to adhere this down to the card. You don't want this to pop up at all. Just lay down a few little strips there of snail and it sticks perfectly, all right? So now we want to emboss and we know that this is in the corner right here. When you emboss and heat emboss, you'll need a heat tool. I love my Stampin' Up! heat gun. Uh, and, now, and then you will, use, you will also use some Versamark ink. Versamark is very sticky and it's clear. So let me open this up and I take my a little note. Oh, first, first, I take my embossing buddy. This is very important little tool. It's got like powder in it and I want to go ahead and kind of, I, I tap it to get a little powder on the card and then I rub it. And what that does is take all the oils off where we've touched it with our finger and um, it doesn't allow the Versamark and the embossing powder to stick where this powder is. Okay, so love the embossing buddy for that. I take a little note into the Versamark ink. It's very sticky and it stays wet so that we have time to emboss. I'm going to stamp that right there, just like that. I don't think you guys are able, well, yeah, you could probably see it right there. Okay, it's clear. Then I'm going to take my black embossing powder. Let's talk about these little cases here. This is a great way to store embossing powder. I found these little cases at the Dollar Tree. They had like three of them in a stack for a dollar, but I can't find them anymore there. So I went to these. These little boxes right here 
are in the um, stationary aisle, like where you would get post-it notes. And it's there in that aisle, and it's for children to put their crayons in. But I found that they were a perfect little box also for my embossing powder. A little bit bigger than this, but that's okay. Now, the little spoon that I have there on the top in my command hook, here's the little command hooks, okay? They are the smallest, teeny tiniest command hooks. I found these at Walmart. I'm a big Walmart person. It's inexpensive, you know, when you're doing something like this. Um, these are the itty bitty ones right here, just itty bitty, little hooks, just like that. And I put it on the lid because I didn't want my spoon to get all black, you know, all covered with black to where my fingers would get that way. So I put that up there. And the little spoons I got from a place called, around here, it's called the Stock Pot. They, sir, they have things in there that are like... Um, for catering, that kind of thing. And these are actually little ice cream spoons. And so you get like 300 of them for close to nothing. So I put my embossing powder on there and I just tap it to get all of the excess off. Just like that. Let's see. Sometimes you can turn it over and flick it. Get as much excess off as you can. Because if you see specks, you're going to get specks, okay? I'm going to take a paintbrush and just get every bit that I can off without touching my lettering there. And then I'm going to bring it back here and I just blew on it. That's all. So it's right there. Isn't that pretty? Just pretty. We're going to heat set that in just a moment. Now I take my little spoon, I put it back into my little hook here, just like that. Turn the lid upside down, put it back on, and close it. These are great little containers. This container does the same thing. Fantastic little container, just like that. And I love the way they hook on the sides, okay? Nice. So I just thought that I'd show you that, how to store them. Now, it's going to get a little loud because we need to heat set this. Let me move this out of the way. Move things out of the way once we use it. And we let your heat gun heat up just a second. Just hold it. Oh, it gets hot in, I mean, a matter of three seconds, you know? Now, I take my heat tool, and I hold it on the embossing powder right there, the embossed thing, and you will see it gets shiny. When it turns shiny, you're done. So much fun. See, my note's not shiny yet. Let's get that shiny. There we go. We're getting there. And we are almost all there. Boy, that gets hot. Well, I am really liking that. All right, there we go. We are done with that little corner. Isn't that fun? Now we're gonna take our, look how cute that looks. Isn't that awesome, guys? Just fun. Now there are a few little black specks. We, they're just gonna have to stay there, but I'm okay with that. It really does, it really did come out good. Um, I'm going to take my snail now. So there's no embossing, so we can just snail this down. And then get it right on this edge right here. Come across like that. Bring my card base in. And I'm going to attach this, just like that. Isn't that adorable? It reminds me of like a napkin, a folded up napkin. I just love it. Okay, we're gonna come back in a minute. I'm gonna get more paper and uh, we're gonna stamp our butterflies. I'm gonna start with the inside of the card first. I'm gonna stamp my sentiment. The good things in life are better with you. And that comes from the Butterfly Gala collection. I'm gonna put that in Daffodil Delight and stamp it right here in the middle, just like that. I'm going to take my solid little butterfly and I'm going to stamp here and I'm going to do that in mint macaron. Just like that. Then in my memento, there are two little antennas to the butterfly. There's a small one and a large one. 
For these, this little butterfly, you want to use the small one in the Memento Black ink. And it just really makes the little butterflies. Just like that. That's the inside of our card. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and get an envelope really quick. And I'm going to do those butterflies. Let me clean this on my chamois. I'm going to do these butterflies out here in Daffodil Delight. One there. One there. Cute. And our little antenna. One there. A little off on that. I'm behind the camera, so that just happens. We're okay. And one right there. So that's adorable, right? All right. Now, let's move that to the side. And um, let's see if that's done. Let's go ahead and attach this to the inside of the card so that I get it out of the way. I don't get any ink on it while we're doing our butterflies and punching them out. So did you see how I pushed a little, um, little pressure with the snail and go slow and you get the whole quarter of an inch of tape runner down? Just like that. Beautiful. All right piece of scrap whisper white right here and um, we're going to use put that back on the memento and I'm done with the daffodil delight I'm using poppy parade mint macaron and mango melody and I'm going to stamp it doesn't matter which butterfly goes into what so this is poppy parade beautiful this one's mint macaron fun. Just turn that over. And Mango Melody. Just like that. We're going to get our punch. And the punch is designed top and bottom because the stamps are connected. Isn't that wonderful? To just punch these out and you get them perfectly. Just line them up. The best thing to do, I find, is to line these little scallops up with the bottom of the butterfly and then, and then you can wiggle the top of it, but I think that that's an important part down here. So that's one. And we'll get this one. I'm so happy that this is back in stock. I'm so afraid that it's going to go out of stock again. <laughs> But that means that you guys like it. I love it. I love the butterflies. I love the gingham gala. You see me play with it a lot. You can have a lot of versatility with these with this set right here. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, I'm going to line all these up. Get my little ones and my big ones. Now, I told you guys in another video, I lost this piece. I have hunted my craft room over and I had a few comments when I said that I lost it to look like in my scrub it you know where I clean and everything I I don't know what has happened to it um I hate when I do something like that I bet it was attached to something accidentally and I threw it away but here's what I've done I took the little one and in my Men memento black ink And I'm going to stamp, I'm going to get it black just like that. And I'm going to, it's designed for these little ones right here in the middle to make the butterfly body just like that. Cute. I'm going to do it twice on the big ones. I had to find something to do to make the little body. So there. And then I'm come down here and I do the best I can. Again, I'm behind the camera. But we're going to cover that up. So if you're a little, if I'm a little off right here, I'm not really worried about it because it's going to get covered up. So again, this is just me improvising because of my bad mistake. This one came out really good. Okay. But that's the best we can do, right? Now I'm going to get some glue dots, and let me close all this ink up now, I think. 
kind of because I'm not done with my memento. So we're going to put the larger antennas on them also. So we're good there. And then I'm going to take the glue dots and I'm going to place them right in the middle of my butterfly. And these are glue dots from past paper pumpkin kits. See how I said that's really not going to matter there. And now what I want to do is alternate my color. I love to alternate color with these butterflies. So the mint macaron will not go on the mint macaron. It will go like here on the poppy parade. And I'm just kind of lining up my butterfly body. And I'm just allowing that to go like this. And then this one right here. Now I'm going to flip these over and we're going to put mini dimensionals on the back. We're almost done with this card. Take my little backs off here. These again I got through Paper Pumpkin Project. I was just using them up. All right, let me move these out of the way, move this out of the way and bring our card base in. For something that is so very plain right here, watch, this just makes it. I'm going to put, and you put them anywhere you want. I'm going to put one butterfly down here. I'm going to put this butterfly up here. And I'm going to put this one. Let's see. Do we want that there? Let's put this one down here. Kind of like that little setup. That's cute, right? A little bit different than how we flew them here, but it's, it doesn't matter because they look great. Okay, now we're going to take the larger antenna, go into the Memento Black Ink, and we're going to come right off the top of this body right here, and you're going to put the antenna on the butterfly, and that really makes it and do all three of them right there. Oh, I'm so happy with this card. And now we've got to add our little rhinestone here. I'm going to add the largest one. And I'm just, I, she had hers on the, let's see, I put mine in the center on that one. Let's put it on the tip on this one. We can make everything a little bit different. Nothing's written in stone. Can make it just a little different. Love it. We're done. Isn't that amazing? That quick. How beautiful. Thank you so much for being with me today on my video here with our little butterflies. And I cased the little card. I love flipping up the corner. Who would have ever thought? Putting your sentiment in the corner. I love that. Thanks to my upline. And I just made my own little design. And I sure do appreciate it. Please go to stampinginthevalley.com. The link is below. All the links are below. Facebook, um, Pinterest, my, um, well, I don't think my Pinterest is down there. Um, but my Facebook and my website is down here. The card kits are down here. You just have to click the links, guys. It's very, very simple. And I appreciate you being with me and watching. Thanks again. Happy crafting.